So, yeah, intubation. Well, Here we have a tube that we have pre-selected for Richie, our Labrador. And there are a couple of ways of uh, determining the size of the tube for a dog. Uh, you can estimate just if you are able to feel the trachea, the big air pipe, and work out roughly what size. Sometimes in some dogs, if you hold their head up and have a look at their nose, there's a fleshy area that sits just down here underneath the, the nostrils, and that sort of area there can give you a rough idea of the diameter needed for the tube. So Richie, bring your nose back here, please, mm -hmm. sir. Thank you. And so you can see that that's probably around about the same size. A more mathematical way of doing it is getting their weight, dividing their weight by four, and then adding four. So he's 30 kilos. That's roughly about, divide by four, seven and a half. If we add four, that's somewhere between 11 and 12, and we've selected a size 11 tube. So hopefully that will fit. The next thing we have to do is to make sure that he's anaesthetised enough to be able to pass the tube in. So we need him to be in light to medium surgical anaesthesia. So we need to use our ability to judge reflexes to make sure that he's going to be deep enough to get the tube down. Okay, so we'll need our induction agent. Charlotte, our vet nurse, will be holding Richie. And I've got my induction agent, Alfaxan, here. We already have him uh, with an intravenous catheter in place. And uh, I've, cal I've calculated his total dose to be about nine mils. So injecting it fairly rapidly. A big bolus, so it'll go up and up his vein, through his heart, and then a good percentage of it will go into his brain. He'll be losing his writing reflex, which means that he'll um, want to fall down. He won't want to sit up. He's a big boy, so we'll have to move him back on the table so we can get his whole body on the table. That's it. Good boy. His left hand side. Now we need to make sure that we're not going to get bitten. So we'll check the palpebral reflex. That's gone. His eye is starting to roll down. I'll check his withdrawal reflex, a good pinch between the toes. That's gone. Excellent. So we can check his jaw tone safely now, just with the tips of our fingers on his incisors so you don't get a big canine tooth chomping through your thumb. He's got some good relaxation in the jaw tone. There is a bit of tension there, but we can probably tube him safely. If he starts chewing a little bit or if it gets tense, we'll have to give him a little bit more. Okay, so Charlotte, if you can please hold his head up and I'll try and show you. Oh, He's got a very it. heavy head. <laughs> Get his lips up out of the way, if you can do that. And then I'll pull the lower jaw down. We'll use a laryngoscope to make it a little bit easier so that we can actually see what we're looking for. Pull the tongue out straight between the canines. Now, we can see right at the back of his tongue. We have the soft palate there. The back of the tongue there. If we pull the soft palate, you can hear him snoring. That's wobbling that pink flesh. It's like a big curtain of pink flesh. If I push that up and back, then you can see the epiglottis. Now, we'll get the laryngoscope in and pull, push this up the base of the tongue and angle it down so that we can bring the epiglottis forward. And just in front of that, we can see the whole, the soft palate's fall, fallen back again. So we'll just see if we can push that back out of the way. Soft palate up. The, um, there's too much stuff in the way. <laughs> <laughs> it's tricky. Yeah. I'll try again. I'll get the laryngoscope. Can we do it Try without oh, the lingers. Okay, okay, good. Okay, there we go. So now we've got 
soft palette up out of the way, push it out of the way, epiglottis sitting there, we'll bring that down, forward, and then once we've got that forward you can see there's the arotenoid cartilages that house and make that little vertical slit, and that's what we're aiming for, to get in. So now we have the tube in place. Isn't it? Can it's you see that? It's a big black hole. Yeah, well, it's <laughs> just about to chew me, so. Yeah. Right. So the tube is in place. We can tell it's in place. Sometimes they'll actually cough, and if the tube is clear, you'll sometimes see condensation on the tube as well. That's it. Ah, yes, right. Now we can see. Okay, so we've got the soft palate is up out of the way. That's the epiglottis sitting right there. Okay. Yep. So at the bottom we have the epiglottis, at the top we have the soft palate. Pull the epiglottis down. And then you can see. Once the tube is in the way, it's hard to see. There's a black hole right there into that black hole. And we are in. So the tube is now sitting right in the middle of the arotenoid cartilages. The soft palate is on top. And we are in.